John F. Kennedy, who took the oath of office at age 43 and was assassinated at age 46, remains one of America's most admired presidents. Despite chronic health problems and relative political inexperience, Kennedy led the nation through some of its most serious challenges during the Cold War, while his assassination has generated ongoing speculation. Here are some fascinating lesser-known facts about the 35th president. John Fitzgerald Kennedy Biography John Fitzgerald Kennedy was born on May 29, 1917, at Brookline, Massachusetts. His father Joseph Kennedy was an ambitious politician who became from son of a pubkeeper to a millionaire. He married the daughter of the mayor of Boston, Rose Fitzgerald. John F. was their second son. During World War II, their oldest son lost his life when his airplane exploded above the canal. Kennedy studied at Harvard and after he had finished, he also had to serve in the war. As lieutenant of the PT-109, he once was shipwrecked, but he survived and because of his heroism, he saved the lives of his crew. In 1952, he became senator of Massachusetts. In 1956, he almost became running mate of Adlai Stevenson, but lost to Estes Kefauver of Tennessee. Anyway, they lost the elections. In 1958, he won re-election in Massachusetts by 875,000 votes, the largest majority in the state's history. He was elected for president in November 1960, after a less-than-easy election contest. He defeated Richard Nixon and became the youngest, 43, to be elected to the White House in American history, till then, in contrast to Al Smith in 1928, first Catholic presidential candidate. Kennedy was elected, despite of being Catholic. The 35th, first Catholic, president ended his inaugural address on January 20 in 1961 with the following words, My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. Cuba During his presidency, he passed two crises, which had to do with Cuba. The first in April 1961, at the Bay of Pigs, was an assault on Cuba. It was a plan developed by the CIA under the Eisenhower administration. Castro's troops quickly defeated the landing attempt. It was a failure for the Kennedy administration, which can be explained by poor advice he had received from the military, the CIA, and from many liberals. The Cuba crisis in 1962 is a much more complicated crisis caused by placing of intermediate-range missiles in Cuba by the Russians. When Kennedy found out, the world was close to nuclear war in October 1962, because Kennedy's military consultants recommended an immediate airstrike. But Kennedy's brother, the military and Attorney General Robert Kennedy, disagreed, because the U.S. would act like Japan with Pearl Harbor and lose its faith. The president instituted a naval blockade against Russian ships and demanded removal of the missiles. After about a week, the Russians agreed and Kennedy promised not to invade Cuba. Berlin In 1961, Kennedy passed the Berlin Crisis. The problem of West and East Berlin was not solved, and it became even worse in August 1961 because of the construction of the Berlin Wall. Détente, relief The Cold War had its downs when Kennedy was president, but also its UPS. A hotline ensured instantaneous communication between the Kremlin and White House for times of crisis, threatening the peace. Both governments became more peaceful and in 1963 they signed the Test Ban Treaty, which outlawed atmospheric testing of nuclear weapons. Civil Rights During his presidency, the internal policy existed for an important part of policy for equal rights for all citizens. Kennedy had to deal with a lot of resistance and most of his bills were rejected. He had plans to improve the social policy, but only under his successor Johnson, most of Kennedy's ideas were accepted by Congress. November 22, 1963 On November 22, 1963, Kennedy visited Dallas with his wife Jackie. He was shot during a riding tour in an open limousine and died after about half an hour. According to the official Warren report, Lee Harvey Oswald killed the president but there is serious doubt about this, because of many strange things. 
for example, the dying of many witnesses, the killing of Oswald and the problem of how one bullet could have killed the president and also hit the governor of Texas, the problem of the miracle bullet. The sad fact is that John F. Kennedy was just 46 years old and left a wife and two children. Camelot had fallen again. 1. He and Jackie Kennedy had four children. In addition to Caroline and John, Jr., the Kennedys had two other children. In 1956, Jackie gave birth to a stillborn girl whom the couple intended to name Arabella, and on August 7, 1963, Patrick Bouvier Kennedy was born five and a half weeks early. The baby weighed under five pounds and died two days later from a pulmonary disease. The bodies of the two children were removed from Massachusetts in 1963 to be next to their father in Arlington National Cemetery. 2. Kennedy received last rites three times before his presidency. Kennedy suffered from poor health his entire life and, fearing imminent death, America's first Catholic president received the sacramental last rites of the church on three occasions. On a trip to England in 1947, Kennedy fell ill and was given perhaps a year to live after being diagnosed with Addison's disease, a rare disorder of the adrenal glands. Returning to America aboard the Queen Mary, Kennedy was so ill that a priest was summoned to administer last rites. He received the sacrament again in 1951 after suffering from an extremely high fever while traveling in Asia, and in 1954 after he slipped into a coma from an infection after surgery to address his chronic back problems. 3 the Army medically disqualified Kennedy from service. In the months before the United States entered World War II, Kennedy attempted to enlist in the military, but his intestinal and back problems caused him to fail the physical examinations for both the Army's and Navy's officer candidate schools. Using his father's connections, however, the future president was admitted to the Navy in October 1941. As a commanding officer of PT-109, he became a wartime hero after helping his crewmates survive the gunboat's 1943 sinking. 4. He won a Pulitzer Prize Kennedy authored his first book, Why England Slept, at age 22, and in 1945 he spent a few months as a newspaper correspondent for William Randolph Hearst's newspapers covering the United Nations Conference in San Francisco and the aftermath of World War II in Europe. In 1957, a Pulitzer Prize in biography was awarded to Kennedy for Profiles in Courage, although there has since been controversy as to how much of the book was ghostwritten by his aide Theodore Sorensen. 5. Kennedy briefly attended Princeton University. Prior to his enrollment at Harvard University, the future president in 1935 began his undergraduate career at another Ivy League institution, Princeton University. His stint there was brief. A gastrointestinal illness forced him to leave Princeton after only two months, and after convalescing, he transferred to Harvard. 6. He donated his congressional and presidential salary to charity. Kennedy's father built a family fortune, and when the young politician entered Congress in 1947, he earned sufficiently ample annual income from trusts established by his father that he decided to donate his entire legislative salary to various charities. Kennedy quietly maintained the practice as president after becoming the richest man to ever take the oath of office. 7. Kennedy installed a secret taping system in the White House. Richard Nixon was not the first president to record his private White House conversations. In the summer of 1962, Kennedy secretly installed a taping system in the Oval Office and Cabinet Room that transmitted recordings to a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder in the White House basement. The president likely installed the system to aid him in writing his future memoir, and it captured many historical discussions between Kennedy and his staff, including discussions during the Cuban Missile Crisis. 8. Kennedy proposed a joint Soviet mission to the moon. Although Kennedy famously challenged the country in the first months of his presidency to land a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s, by September 1963 he had such concerns about the space program's high cost that he proposed partnering with the Soviet Union on a joint expedition to the moon. Why, he asked in an address to the United Nations General Assembly, should man's first flight to the moon be a matter of national competition? Why should the United States and the Soviet Union, in preparing for such expeditions, become involved in immense duplications of research, construction, and expenditure? Nine. 
there were rumors that he considered dropping Lyndon Johnson from the 1964 ticket. With more than a year before the 1964 presidential election, rumors swirled that Kennedy was considering replacing Lyndon B. Johnson as his running mate with Florida Senator George Smathers, North Carolina Governor Terry Sanford or another Democrat. Kennedy's secretary, Evelyn Lincoln, wrote in her 1968 memoir that the president mentioned a possible switch to her three days before his death, and hours before the assassination, the November 22, 1963, edition of the Dallas Morning News printed an interview with Nixon, who was in the city on business, with the headline, Nixon predicts JFK may drop Johnson. 10. Kennedy feared running for re-election against Mitt Romney's father. When evaluating prospective Republican candidates for the 1964 presidential campaign, Kennedy welcomed the prospect of running against Arizona Senator Barry Goldwater, who ultimately received his party's nomination, but he was concerned about the prospects of facing more moderate Michigan Governor George Romney, father of the 2012 Republican presidential nominee. The one fellow I don't want to run against is Romney. That guy could be tough, he privately confided to a friend in 1963.